Welcome back. I'm very excited about this video. This place is one of the best places I've ever visited in Australia. This is Phillip Island, which is in Victoria, Australia. If you're planning a trip to Australia, you cannot afford to miss this place. This is Penguin Parade. I'm here in Phillip Island for Penguin Parade which happens after the sunset. But the island itself is so beautiful so you should come a day before, spend a night in a hotel or motel and then during the daytime go around see the island. It's an island, but it doesn't mean that you have to come here via ferry or a boat. It's an island which is very well connected through roads. There are many beautiful beaches around and you can spot a lot of wildlife. Transportation wise, it's a very accessible place. You can drive your own car, but if you do not want to drive, you can book a tour bus. Uh, and if you're Google, you will easily find something. Phillip Island is just two and a half hour away from Melbourne. So if you're coming for just one or two days as well to Melbourne, you must plan to come here. I spent my all day waiting for 8 p.m. but I did explore a lot of beaches around. They were beautiful. There are many different activities around here. So if you want to go to a wildlife sanctuary, that's something you can do as well. Just make sure that you book your ticket in advance. And now this is almost 4 p.m. So I am now going back to my hotel. I'll get ready and I'll leave for the penguin parade. Before planning your trip to penguin parade, please make sure you check the month and what will be the timing of the penguin parade i would say you should dress up always with some warm clothes because in the night it get really really cold all right now let me tell you a little bit more about penguin parade so once you enter the facility you might see a dummy somewhere around in the facility where you can touch the penguin and see how it feels. If you have come early and it's not 8 p.m. yet, you can spend time inside the facility. There's a lot of information about penguins, different type of penguins, and where all these different species of penguins are found. So a penguin that you might have seen on TV would be King or the Emperor Penguin. I don't think there's any other place in the world where you can see penguins that up close. But if you are aware of any other place in the world, please post it in the comments. The penguins that are found here in Phillip Island and in Australia are called little penguins. And this is all about the little penguins that you need to know. They are mainly found in Australia and New Zealand and some places in Tasmania as well. Their body length, their body weight. And this was an interesting read. The divorce rate within the penguin community is 
18 to 50 percent. And it's because penguins are very committed in their relationship. They always remember their partners. This organization is completely self-funded. So there are tickets that you will have to buy to enter in the facility. Later in my video, I'm going to provide you information about which ticket to buy based on my experience. That might help you if you are planning to come here. This display board here was showing how many penguins arrived yesterday and at what time did they come back. So it looks like I will have to wait until 9 p.m. Well, I think you might be wondering why it's called Penguin Parade. And the answer is when all the penguins walk back to their burrows in group, it looks like they are on a parade. So that's why it's called Penguin Parade. And this is the area which you cross from the facility towards the ocean and you go to your designated sitting arrangement. Now about the tickets. So there are three different type of tickets. One is general viewing, which is here. Penguin Plus, which is here. And underground viewing, which is here. So if it's in your budget, I would say get Penguin Plus ticket because when the penguins are coming back, it's very dark. And the area where you will be sitting with the Penguin Plus ticket, there is a little bit lighting in that area. So you will get to see a lot more. And if you're lucky, you might see some chicks around in the area before the adult penguins have arrived. These are the chicks of penguins who have left to get food in the ocean. They might look bigger, but they're actually very young. They may be just a few months old. You might also be wondering why these penguins leave every day and come back at the same time. Answer is all the adult penguins they don't spend the entire day inside their home, which are called burrows. They go outside in the ocean and they hunt food, etc. so that they can bring it back for their little ones that are staying inside the burrows waiting for their parents to come back. This is Penguin Plus sitting area and this is the direction where the penguins will come from. And this one here is your underground weaving. Just where you're sitting in front of you, you will locate many burrows. All these burrows already have at least one chick inside and they will all come out when the adults are outside. The sad part is photography and videography in this area is not allowed, but I'll still find some resources online to show you how spectacular it was. And now you can see they all are coming back. And this is how it looks when they start walking towards their burrows. This is like a routine for them. Every day at the same time, they all start from their home, go inside the ocean, hunt the food. When it's dark, they come back. They wait near the ocean for it to be dark enough so they can walk back to their burrows because they could be fox, etc. And they may try to hunt them down. So they want to wait for it to be dark enough so that they can walk their home safely. One fun fact is the kids do not recognize their parents. So when these penguins starts coming back to their burrows and they all are in group, the kids doesn't know which penguin is their parent. So they start asking food and that is the time when you'll start hearing a lot of noise around. But the parents, they remember who their kids are. So it will only be the parent who will eventually come and feed the chicks. These penguins have a very great sense of direction as well as very good sense of responsibility. You are now going to hear the audio of the noise that chicks make when the parents are coming back. Yeah. After spending almost seven, eight hours in the ocean, they still remember where was their home and where are their kids. I think by now you have a good understanding of what happens in Penguin Parade. And to book your ticket, you can go to penguinorg.au and click on buy tickets. If you have more time, unlike me, you might want to explore Churchill Island as well as the Seal Cruise. I've heard they are good too. If you are interested, then other than the three viewing options that I told you about, there are guided tour available as well. These rates are from 2023. The general viewing ticket was for 30. Penguin Plus was 75. And the underground ticket 
was for 85. And this is the end of my video. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.